Welcome to Meaningful Mornings. I'm going to share a if-then model with you. This is based on a subhashitan, words of wisdom. If avicharya, then navaktavya. In English, if Avicharyam, one has not reflected, then Navaktavyam, one should not speak. In contrast, if Vaktavyam, if you are speaking, then you should have Suvicharya. You should have reflected. So if you're speaking, it's presumed that you've reflected on what you're saying. Yesterday I was listening to a podcast on how dangerous it is for journalists in Mexico. And in this podcast, one of the journalists was sharing our only defense is a pen, pencil, and notebook. That is their only defense in Mexico. I'm sharing this with all of us because our only defense, our only strategy in being happy and happiness is our reflections. Reflecting before speaking, reflecting with our reading and writing. And this is strongly encouraged in meaningful mornings, also known as manana mornings. This is our following of words of wisdom. This is our defense. Sri Krishna has classified Shraddha. Shraddha in English, faith as those with lots of faith, those with less faith, those with little faith. Next, he opened up ahara, in English, association. In the Bhagavad Gita, Sri Krishna zooms into fresh food, processed food, and old food. That's the classification. Next, Sri Krishna opens up yajna, in English, dedication, to presence, lower than that, to purpose, and the lowest, to people. Now Sri Krishna is opening up tapa, in English, sacrifice. Yajna and tapa are together. If there's dedication, there has to be sacrifice. If there's no sacrifice, there is no dedication. He started at a action level. Yesterday, I zoomed into the practice towards shaucha. Shaucha means to organize your space and time to be clean, simple, and inspiring. 
for those in the highest vocation, now we've completed more than two weeks of practicing at 5.30 a.m., for some of you, 4.30 a.m., for some of you, 2.30 a.m. <laughs> Lots of you are thinking, highest vocation, 2.30 a.m.? <laughs> what an opportunity to engage in Shaucha. One more insight from sacrifice at the action level is towards the word pragnia. I'd mentioned that this means the wise. Another meaning of pragnia is the great. The great are in our lives for us. Unlike the good and average and poor who are in personality, they're in our lives for them. The great are in our lives for us. And so it is the great who are able to grace us or bless us. And Puja Swami Tejo Mayananda shared, it is their grace, it is their blessing that abides. What poor, average, and good people give to us comes and goes. What great people give for us, do for us, that abides. This is what has made them great. Now Sri Krishna has shifted to a word level. Tapa or sacrifice at a word level. In yesterday's parenting culture space, I had mentioned, you could have created a relationship over a decade, over multiple decades, and one mean word or wrong interpretation can dismantle that relationship. Agreed? Kumbhakarna, for those who know this, should have said Indra, but what did he say? Nidra. <laughs> and instead of becoming a leader, what did he become? A sleeper. <laughs> So for one to be careful with words, and that's why, in terms of sacrifice at a word level, it is to know when to listen and when to speak. I keep trying to share this with our children. There is a time for you to talk and there is a time for you to listen. They feel that everything that they say should be in their own time. But that's not a healthy way to live. If you are going to speak, it should flow through TUB. <laughs> That's your ac acronym for. It should be truthful, useful, and beautiful. Now, other teachers of the Bhagavad Gita add one more qualification or filter. In Sanskrit, it is MITAM. So, Satyam, HITAM. Priyam, now mitam. In English, this means measured. Like in Meaningful Mornings, I try hard to finish within 18 minutes. It is measured because I know you have to do this and this after, this and that afterwards. So now I'm going to change mitam or measured into exact full. So if you're going to speak, it should flow through this, not tub, but tube. Yes, it works. <laughs> Your words should be exactful, full of exactness. And one more insight from Puja Swami Tejo Mayananda. Whenever we think of tapa in terms of vakya, we tend to think of humans. But even animals, plants, and elements they also react and respond to our words. I'm sure you've come across the scientist, I believe he's from Japan, where he measured what words do to water crystals. So what, imagine what could happen to the, our environment if we followed tube, that we only spoke that which is truthful, useful, beautiful, and exactful. Sri Krishna continues, now we have analyzed 
tapa or sacrifice at the action level, that is the body, at the word level, that is the speech, now in terms of our thoughts, at the mind level. This is to be practiced sequentially, from actions to words to thoughts. We're doing the same in the highest vocation, correct? From body to breath to mind. Verse 16. Mana prasada somyatvam maunam atma vinigraha bhava sam shuddhirityetad tapo mana sam uchate. Fourth quarter. Uchate. What is being said, what is being taught is tapa. Tapa means sacrifice. At which level? Manasam. At the mental level. For our mind. And if I didn't say joy, then I'm saying it now. I'm actually in a united consciousness meeting right now. I've stepped out to teach. Now I have to go back. So my mind is moving very fast. <laughs> Quarter one. Manaha prasadaha. One's mind should be prasada. Prasada in English means that which causes cheer. Or put simply, to be cheerful. We all think when it comes to sadhana or discipline that this is going to make us cheerful. But you should also start sadhana or discipline cheerfully. Not just the ends, but this should be the means to and so really, for those who practice contemplation, etc., force yourself to smile. You do it when I teach. <laughs> force yourself to smile. And that physical change will affect you mentally also. Next, Saum Saumyatvam. A lot of people have the name Saumya. And there's lots of definitions for this. I will present this as being gentle, being gentle. Mm. When we think of people who are hard-hearted, what comes from them is a lack of kindness. But those who are gentle-hearted, they express this as kindness. So this is what Saumya means. This gentleness we can train ourselves in, starting with articles. It is hardest for us to be gentle with beings. We think things, we say things that are mean. But if you train yourself that with articles, as in materials, as in stuff, you're more gentle with this. Your shoes, your car, your phone, your dishes, you put things in their place, all of those kinds of matters. This is training to be better in terms of gentleness with beings. Next, maunam. Maunam is that which leads to manana. So discipline or sacrifice at a mental level is to engage in mauna, it is when your mind is directed to manana. And if you're reflecting, naturally, you're going to be quieter. I'm in a lot of social settings, family, friends, corporations, etc. And sometimes people will say, how come you're so quiet? Are you sad, Vivekji? <laughs> And it's hard for them to understand because they're extroverted. I find that there's a lasting utility in me reflecting more than me socializing about pleasure, possession, position. What's going to last longer for me is for me to reflect. So this is why I'm quiet. And for those who don't relate to this, this is where one feels an awkward silence. I feel awkward talking. <laughs> talking is more awkward than silence. Atma 
Vinigraha. This is the fourth sacrifice. Atma here again means not spirit, but mind. Vinigraha technically means controlled. For us, it is control because we are directing the mind. If you direct the mind, your mind will be controlled by you. But if you don't direct the mind, you will be controlled by the mind. Is that clear to everyone? I use a physical planner. I've encouraged Sheila to do so, so now she does so too. And in our planner, there's I have a weekly planner. So in two pages, it shares, it's time to buy the next planner. <laughs> Good marketing from them. But by planning, this helps one to be more directed. So buy your planner. <laughs> now the final quarter. Iti etat. What has been described is sacrifice in terms of the mind. And the final component of this is bhava samshuddhihi. One's being should be of purity. One's mind should be pure, but bhava, the feeling of oneself, should be pure. We just want me Tejo Mayananda had shared. Your purity can be known because it gets reflected in the smiles of others. Those who are pure, the people around them tend to smile. Those whose feeling is impure <laughs> the people around them tend to feel more stress. <laughs> so get to know yourself, but observe others because they're also showing who you are. These three verses, tapa at a action word and mind level or thought level, to me, this is really the joy of caring. If you want to know how to care, parenting culture, caring culture, it is to live by these three verses. And I'm saying the joy of caring because this is actually being dedicated. And all of the changes you have to make to your personality will come naturally then. Top our sacrifice, if you're really engaged in sacrifice, you don't even know that you're sacrificing. You don't know that you're changing. It's all simply happening. I leave for Connecticut on Thursday. This weekend, we have our marriage enrichment retreat on the joy of caring. And it is these th three verses and tomorrow's that I will be teaching. We've done this over four mornings, tomorrow being the fourth. In this retreat, we'll get to do it over four days. These verses are very important. From inspiration to application, your application was to live, verse 15. When you speak, you speak through tube. How many of you tried? Good. I love seeing your hands up. A reflection for you. Before you become a great speaker, you have to become a great seeker. Great seekers are great speakers. Great speakers are not great seekers. So tube is not about the other person. It's about you you will naturally become a better speaker. Your application for this morning is, today is Halloween, so many people are going to come to your home for candy. You're going to go to other people's home for candy too. If you're giving out candy, in your mind, give purity and candy. So as you give a Kit Kat, you pray for that person too. <laughs> so give purity with that candy. Shanti. Shanti, shanti, be safe today and be joy.